Hi, I'm Jason from the company Blockout Blinds. And today I'm going to be talking about those dreaded vertical blind chains. Well, we all know vertical blinds, um, and we all know that they have those chains that go along the bottom that connect the slats to each other, as we can see in this picture here. But what if you have a lovely little fella like you can see in this photo, who loves to sit at the back door and wait for you to come in when you get home from work? Well, if your vertical blinds have chains, this little fella can't do that because one, he's either going to wreck the blind or two, he's going to get all tangled up and wreck the blind. So a lot of people don't realise that there are options outside of these chains. The first option we have, as seen in this photo here, is a chainless bottom weight. Basically it's exactly the same as the first picture except the chains have been removed from the weights and then the little lug that so the chains normally clip onto has been snipped off. Not snipped off, but manufactured that way. What this means is there's no chains anymore and the dog can sort of get in and out or kids don't get stuck in it. Um, but this does have one drawback, whereas the chains on the weights, because they're linked up with the chains, the, the weight can't move left or right out of the, uh, out of the pocket that it's in. Whereas these weights, because there's no chain, sometimes the the weight that's inside the, the pocket can start to move left or right and sort of fall out of the, of the louver, which is not really ideal. So that then brings us to our third option, which I think is the best if you don't like the chains, and that's called the sewn-in weight. Now what this is, is just the weight that's sewn in. So they've taken away the plastic weight um, and substituted it with a metal weight. It's a little bit smaller in size, hence it needs to be metal to give it a bit more weight to hold the louver straight. Then it's actually sewn on all four sides all the way around, so the weight cannot come out. And there you go, you've got a fantastic blind without any chains, uh, and the weights won't fall out either. Now, while it is good to have no chains on your vertical blinds, there is a reason for it. Obviously you have all your louvers hanging down, and should you open the window and a bit of air comes in, or open and shut them quickly, they will tend to sort of swing around. Now what the chains do, they allow the blind and the louvers to all swing in unison so they all swing around and they settle down relatively quickly. However, if you don't have any chains and they get blown by the wind or you open the blind quickly, all the louvers will move around in different directions and they will take a little bit longer to settle down and all be hanging straight again. So look, ideally, um, the main reason you would have these is really only for vertical blinds that are hanging down to the floor and generally they're on sliding doors or some people have windows where the windows go right to the ground. But look, if the window sort of, you know, finishes off the ground, there's no reason not to get the chains unless you just um, don't like the aesthetic look of them. Um, otherwise, I'd, I'd keep them on. So there you go. We have your normal weights with chain. You have your chainless weights and you also have your sewn-in weights, which is the ideal option if you've got dogs or kids you know, around the blinds. So I hope I've been of a help to you today, and until next time.